I want to fill in some details about slicing that we skipped over a little bit. Let's make an example. Suppose I want to convert our very simple time representation, like 9 a.m. or 1 p.m., into 24-hour time, like 9 colon 0, 0 or 13 colon 0, 0. We would have to do some string processing. We would have to you know, sort of look through these strings to figure out whether we're a.m. or p.m. and modify the string accordingly. Well, the problem is that a.m. or p.m might be the starting at the second character if it was a one digit time or it might be starting at the third character if it was a two digit uh, time. So instead of having to do a complex if statement it would be a lot easier if we could start from the right, look from the right and extract this, that, look whether the second character from the right was an A or a P and that way we could figure out what we have. And it turns out slicing lets us do that. Let's draw a quick picture to see what slicing indexes look like and refresh our memory while we're at it. Let's look at this example where we have a string that is simply 9 a.m. and we will compare it against another example where we have a second string which is 12 p.m. The goal is to extract the letter that signifies whether this is a.m. or p.m. Let's look at this in detail by writing out each character and looking at the index of each character. So we've got an index of 0, 1, and 2 for 9a and m. And similarly, in the second example, we have indexes of 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, if we want to use the Python slices that we know so far to extract the A or the P, this is what we have to do. We'll say S1 starting at the index that the A is, which is index 1, and we want to go up to but not including the index after the A, which is index 2, and that will generate or extract the letter A. Similarly, if we want to do the similar kind of uh, corresponding task on the second string, we have to start at the string, uh, sorry, the index that corresponds to the letter P, which is index 2, and go up to but not include the index of the character after the P, which is index 3, and this will extract the string P. This gives us the right result, but we have to use different code depending on what our input string is. That doesn't really work because, of course, the whole point is to determine what input string we have. Instead, what we want to do is extract the A by thinking about it as being the second character from the right of the string, because it's always the second character from the right, just as the P is always the second character from the right. And it turns out that Python slices lets you, in fact, extract slices counting from the right instead of counting from the left. Python lets us index from the right by using indexes that are negative numbers. So the way these work is counting from the right, they start at minus 1. So you get minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. They don't start at 0 because then you wouldn't know which was the left index and which was the right index. So similarly, in the second example, we have indexes of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. So then, if we want to extract the A starting on the right, what we do is we do the same thing, but we just count from the right. So we want to go from the character starting over here, which is minus 2, and go up to, but not including, this character, which is minus 1. And that will similarly generate the A character. For the second example, we similarly index from the right. So if we want to find the P character, we look at the second character from the right, which is index minus 2. And we go up to, but not including the M, which is index minus 1. And that generates the P character, that extracts the P character. The key thing here is that now we have exactly the same code 
for both examples. And so uh, we have a solution.